So, uh, let's go up. It's awfully foggy in here. Yeah, it's misty because of the mist monster. Spoilers, spoilers. Well, they said it in town. That was a mist monster. I think they call it a fog monster. Oh, well, we got a power rune piece. I want to use it. Um, who has it? My goodness. Okay. Let's use it on Smappy. I thought you cleared our inventory. I did. Unfortunately, it's already filled back up. Inventory management was kind of a hassle in the first game. Oh my gosh, it's terrible in the first game. Does it get any better? It gets a little better in the second game. At least you have party inventory as well. Like, a real party inventory. Not like it's like a, a group container type of thing? Yeah. <sighs> it should be go... We should go pretty quick. I mean, we're doing better than I thought we would be doing for these snails, so... Well, uh, what is it they say? Third time's the charm? So... We're doing really Sorry, that's well. Sorry, it's an old joke, I suppose, at this point, so I used that last video. We might actually do pretty well with this uh, quote-unquote mist monster. Hmm. Ooh, medicine acquired. Because we don't have enough of that. Hey, it's useful. Well, it kind of lagged out on me for a second there. Since the rooms were the same, I thought you like went in one door and you came like got bumped back or something. <laughs> There's a strong wind that won't let me go any further. Ah. That's what I thought it was, and I don't remember the game well enough. And I was like, wow, why are we, why are we going back? What just happened? <laughs> took me a second to realize we went upstairs and then you know, came out on the other end. This is a pretty straightforward dungeon, so um, we don't have to go in circles or anything like in some of them. Yeah, we pretty much uh, uh, stuck at 15 now. It seems to be where we're leveling out. Can I just so we'll run? Probably get... Oh, oh I, that was bad. So now you get to see what happens when I can't run away successfully. You take 10 damage on Grimio. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight. Um, since I've already wasted the time trying to run, I don't want to do it again. Wow, everyone's doing pretty well. I mean, yeah, you're not taking too much damage, and you're dealing out decent amounts of damage. Grimio needs to be healed after this. <sighs> Grimio always needs to be healed. save point. That's not ominous. Is this the first time we've seen a save point? No. We've seen some save points. There we was have? one at um, the bandit place. Oh yeah, okay. I just was like, I know we've seen them in the inns, but I just couldn't remember any other places we actually saw save points, like true save points. Might as well use it. May as well. Yeah, we've definitely been leaving it open on menus. There's no way that we've... <laughs> no, like, we how, leave it open a lot. How, yeah, how, how far are we, like, normally into the game at this point? Um, if I was playing normally, I could probably get here in 45 minutes. And if I was playing normally? Uh, maybe an hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember what my best speed run was for Suikoden in one, um, including you, all 108 you... characters. Was the Clive stuff in Suikoden in one or two? Two, and that's a speed okay. run. Um, that's gonna be interesting. Um, We're not gonna do that, are we? I don't know yet, because the problem with that is I might have to be I might have to do a separate uh, game on the side to show that because there's only like four or five like little bits to it. Um, I don't know. When we get there, I'll decide. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't get all 108 in whatever it is, like Oh, no, you can. Hours. I've you done can? it. Yeah, I've easily done it. I've done it with, like, two or three hours to spare. Holy cow. Oops, it's up here. Um, I just can't do a lot of other things. Like, I can't do the cooking contests and stuff like that. 
But no, you can easily get all 108 and do the Calliope storyline. Sheesh. Yeah, what we're talking about is in Suikoden 2. Um, if you get to certain points in the game, um, you get to see a special storyline with Clive, which is a name we heard back in Rockland when we were looking at uh, grave sites. Um, so pretty much you, there's specific intervals. I don't remember them all exactly right now, but the last interval, you got to be at this specific place within 20 hours. And it's the very end of the game. So you pretty much have to beat the game in 20 hours. And uh, it's, it's doable. Poison. But getting 108 while you do it is, that to me sounds insane. I've done it. Um, the screen is freaking out because uh, I'm poisoned. Oh. And I'm, I'm stuck in the wall. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pause until we get there. Hold on. Okay, Just guys. Wait. So we got the uh, hazy crystal from that treasure chest. I finally found my way through the wall. <laughs> so the hazy crystal is another one of those magical runes that let lets us do get magic or something, or what? Yeah, all these, most of these crystals will do something like that. I guess we need to go this way. Let's go downstairs. It's a big empty room. Okay. Not that I'm expecting anything. Oh. Of course not. How much time do we have for this? Three minutes. Do you think that's enough time? You're the one that remembers these fights. I don't. Um, remember. I don't remember how long this fight actually takes because I'm paying so much attention trying not to die. So we're just gonna um, fight this thing in the next video. So bye. Okay. Bye guys.